ओके गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम हैप्पी न्यू ईयर सो होप इट्स यू नो अ वंडरफुल ईयर फॉर ईच वन ऑफ यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर एनरोलिंग इन टू द स्प्रिंग सेमेस्टर कोर्सेस वी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स बी सी वन वन टू इज अबाउट अ बिलीवर्स अथॉरिटी वील ऑल्सो स्टडी रिगार्डिंग डिमोनोलॉजी एंड एविडेंस Uh, so i hope you have accessed your study material for the online students we have it available in the classwork section kindly download it and follow along uh, on campus you have your copies and uh, e learn can also please look in the textbook section and you can access your uh, notes we will pray and uh, get started heavenly father we thank you for your word i thank you that your word um is uh, in inspired oh god uh, by you father and uh, thank you lord that uh, your word directs us in our lives father we pray uh, even as a, a class that you will help us lord to put your word um, above uh, everything else and uh, father god to make it uh, lord our focus and lord even as we spend time in your word thank you god for um the the strength the grace uh, the direction um and father for the anointing lord that uh, you are imparting into each one of our lives uh, we bless you we honor you we glorify your name in jesus name we pray amen amen um so the believers authority is uh, a subject which is so very crucial for all of us believers in our day to day lives as believers we encounter challenges and uh, many of the challenges uh, could you know just be the by by way of the fact that we are living here on the earth and we already saw uh, when we studied about prayer and intercession that sin has corrupted the world and even though god wanted man to rule and reign because of sin and uh, its consequences there are many things that go on in the world which are evil uh, but at the same time we also recognize that we have a real enemy in satan and uh, uh, the powers of darkness that are led by him and controlled by him so our intention of studying the believers authority is to know how a believer can walk in that original uh, design of authority that god gave man when he created man and woman so as a believer one of the things that we must be very clear about is that when jesus died on the cross uh, and you know he um, uh was buried he rose again he did a work of redemption for us and as part of that redemption he has restored that identity that god gave us when he first created us okay and so uh because we we have now been redeemed we can walk victorious yes there will be battles there will be challenges but if we are strong in the word and we understand the word of god we also recognize that even in the midst of the challenges we are supposed to be victorious okay so that is what believers authority is all about so first we can begin by understanding uh, what the meaning of this term authority is authority is uh, quite familiar in our everyday lives we see um, we see maybe government uh, positions that reflect what authority means to us or even let's say church we understand what authority stands for um, in the family there is an authority that god has placed so we see this in our daily lives but we just need to gain an understanding of what exactly you know authority means uh, and how one receives that authority so we're just going to look at the meaning of authority for the next couple of minutes so you can look at your notes 
I'm starting out from chapter one here. Now we understand that generally, you know, authority is vested or placed on someone, um, giving them rights and privileges. For example, if we consider um, a traffic police, okay? so on the street, um, I know sometimes people just start guiding traffic because you know they, they think that they have to sort out the traffic problem and people still listen. But usually it's a traffic police whose guidance we will take. Right? Like if it's a traffic police in the middle of heavy traffic and he's saying, okay, move this side or stop, people will listen because we look at the uniform. Okay, and that is a a sign of authority being given to that person. So that's how he has received the right or the privilege to do what he is doing or she is doing, traffic police. So often authority is vested or given to an individual and it allows certain rights and privileges. Okay. Now authority uh, is also, uh, it, it gives us the right to influence actions and decisions. So when we consider, let's say, our government, right? they make the decision about uh, how certain things have to be run in, in the country. Uh, you know, they make the rule about which days would be holidays for the people. So they have the capacity to influence. So those who come under their authority, they are able to regulate or direct people. So this is also something that authority means. Authority means influence. We're able to make decisions. And it affects the lives of the people who come under that authority. Right? Similarly, you can um, sort of see that in every sphere, in a company, if you have a good manager or a good leader, if they make good choices, it affects the people who come under that authority, isn't it? In a family setting, if the the uh, you know the leader of the house they make the right choices, it affects the family in a positive way. So, authority is also influence. Firstly, authority is vested or given to us, and it offers us certain rights and privileges. Secondly, authority is influence. Now, authority also does not depend on a person's ability. Okay, so I'll explain myself. Now, if we consider somebody who is guiding traffic, imagine, you know, this person who's guiding traffic doesn't look very strong or big or tall. Maybe they look exactly the opposite of that, you know, very, um, maybe they're not that well built or uh, they are quite old. Let's, let's just assume. Now, if a person like that were to raise their hands and say, okay, stop traffic, do you think people will listen? This is a traffic police. They don't look very big and all, but they are saying stop. Will the people stop? Will they listen? Yeah, why? Because of the uniform, right? So the point that we're making is that when we uh, have been given authority, what we can do does not depend only on our ability. OK? So uh, similar to what we said, now, as believers, we may, we may think, oh, you know, I'm not able to do that or this, and I'm not so great. But always look at the work of the cross. You know, always look at the uh, redemption that Christ has, has given to us, the victory that Christ has given to us. Now, because we have that authority, I can still be victorious, right? No matter which phase of my life I am in, or uh, even if I'm struggling, it, my authority remains the same because Christ has given it to me. Okay, so that's how we apply 
believers authority so it does not even in our natural uh, spheres we recognize that it does not always depend on the ability of the person it can be beyond that uh, now in some cases of course authority is earned like if you take for example uh, an organization you know and somebody joins the organization uh, you may have heard stories like this you know that they joined that uh, they joined as uh, some small responsibility some uh, admin staff or something but slowly they rose up in their uh, their role and they probably got a really high position in the same organization how did that happen maybe they they had the skills they worked hard they had the experience they um, found favor with people around people in the management right so based on uh, their performance the company may have decided okay come on let's pick this guy up put him in the next role and then that person just keeps going up the ladder so in certain cases authority is also earned it just doesn't come like that we have to really um, work and based on the capabilities the qualifications the performance one can gain more influence okay um, for whatever work god has called us for now authority works within realms we need to understand this now uh, just imagine there is a manager of a particular company and uh, you know he he's he's able to handle lots of people and make all the decisions now if he goes to another company okay and over there uh, he he tries to make the rules and he says oh everybody is coming at uh, uh, 9 am uh, it's not good from tomorrow you'll come at 8 am do you think people will listen he's a really good manager but it's not his company okay so you see there's also a sphere of influence for the exercise of our authority we need to be in the right sphere you know i can't go to somebody else's house and say oh the furniture is not arranged nicely are you arrange it like this they'll ask me who are you you know this is my house you're not part of this house so the sphere that we want to influence that's also something we have to think about do we have the authority to function in that sphere if we have then yes use your influence use your authority things get done but if i'm trying to function outside of my sphere then obviously i'm making a mistake it won't work out okay so this is also something that we must recognize regarding authority and uh, yeah sometimes authority as we said you know we look at people's uniform and we uh, recognize that okay this symbolizes that such a person has been vested with authority by the government or maybe they carry a badge of some sort or some symbol that that says this person you know is is part of uh, this particular team and you better listen to the individual so sometimes you have um, uh, something that symbolizes authority over a person and the last point that i'm going to share and stop is authority unfortunately can go unused okay uh, now let's let's just uh, assume that the, there is uh, you know some sort of uh, uh, a war situation okay and the leaders of the nation have to make decisions quick decisions okay come on you know let's let's uh, protect our borders let's do this let's do that now what if they don't make those decisions and they just delay what might happen it's quite dangerous right you're not taking action you're not planning to protect your borders then the enemy can infiltrate the enemy can quickly act cause destruction why the people who had the authority need to act fast now if they don't act fast they're not using that full capacity the influence which they have okay which again affects the people so you see not using that authority and not using it in a timely way 
can also um, uh, you know sort of uh, it, it can be detrimental it can cause destruction and loss and failure okay and sometimes uh, imagine a traffic police you know in the in the traffic um, traffic is chaotic he's doing nothing to control the traffic just standing there he can easily show his hand and direct the traffic but he's not doing it though he has the authority authority is unused so we'll discuss more i've just given you a gist of things but even as believers we've been saying we have the authority but what if we don't use it how can how can it benefit the believer we have it but we are not using it right so these are all things to think about so uh, let's go ahead for a break we'll come back and continue with the same subject thank you everyone thank you <laughs>